Morning y'all. Got a coffee machine. Don't drink coffee, so I don't know how that works. What is the obsession with coffee machines? I really do not know. Anyway. The sea. And it's grey and it's windy. And I have a funny feeling that it isn't going to be a huge amount of fun on the golf course today. The shite hawks paid me a visit. I wonder what state my car is in when I get out there. Probably absolutely plastered. Down on the Harbour Now Hill for Coombe. Let's have a look. People fishing. Some strange woman. You might be wondering why I refer to seagulls as shite hawks. Well, in one night, They've missed this side. Yeah, they missed that side. Still, there's plenty of time yet. day two of the two day trip and I'm at Ilfracombe Golf Course. This is an old stamping ground of mine. I've been here, well I haven't been here for ages but I used to come here quite a lot. Load the car up on a Friday night, come down to Ilfracombe for the weekend. It is 5,600 yards par 69, six par threes, three par fives. It's not overly long but it is defended by the wind and today well, it was totally grey this morning when I got out of bed, but the sky's broken up a bit and we can see all the way across to Wales. I'll bet that didn't focus. Anyway, first hole, par 5, 439 yards. Doesn't sound very long for a par 5. But we're going up there. Well, this is going to be a peculiar video. Practically everything is muted. And I've got to do a full voiceover. Never done a full voiceover before. Anyway, first hole. This is quite narrow up here. So I'm grateful I hit a decent tee shot. Left me about 213. You can't see the green from here. I had to walk forward and get a line. And I didn't quite get it right, even though I hit a damn good shot I was very pleased with. Quite happy with the first chip of the day. Not too far away. Should be an easy par. Alas, 
these greens are a fair bit quicker than the previous day. And whoa, where did that go? Couldn't believe that hadn't stopped so much closer to the hole. And as you can see, I just rushed this. So it gets what it deserves. The lip out. Onto the second, you can't see much. There's a little marker post on top of the hill there. I've had a guess at a six iron here down the wind. Wasn't entirely sure. Unfortunately, I've hit this out to the right. So I set up the camera and wander across. And as soon as I get there, I know I've got the wrong club. Do you do this? Leave your bag, walk off with a wedge. And when you get there, it's the wrong wedge. So here we go. Another bogey. green here is well above me. I have a guess with the five wood here and I just catch it a little bit thin. It gets to the top of the bank and takes a big bounce down. I've actually got 50 yards here. The trouble with an uphill shot like this is you quite often pull it and pull it I do. Horrible chip. Ball is way below my feet here. This is not very nice. But I do okay out of this. You yeah, know, this is fine. I mean, it's it's only missed the hole by a tiny amount. And a double bogey. We're four over after three. This could well be the shortest par three you ever play on a full-size golf course. But don't be fooled into thinking it's easy. Even without the wind, this hole is not easy. And I've hit this just a fraction too far. As soon as I walk onto the green and look at this down slope, I know I've had it. There's no way this ball is gonna stop by the hole. There we go. Now, how many times do you do this? You hit a downhiller just a fraction too hard, and then the uphiller coming back is too soft. I've bogeyed a hole of 64 yards. Right, first par five, and it's a short one, and it's down the wind. Time for a bit of payback here. And I don't think I could have hit that off the toe anymore without actually missing the ball. Right, 19 degree. Somehow or ever, I've got to get up this hole. Bit of a gouge, it's come out about head height. And oh, look at that shot tracer. Isn't shot tracer an absolute muppet at times? Nothing I could do about that. Anyway, a simple wedge. The flag looks fairly close to the front, so I'm just going to hit a bit of a floater here. And it pitches on the green. And I think this ball is going to be absolutely stone dead for the bird. Getting, going to get something back here. However, it's a little further past than I thought. Give it the required amount of attention. This has got to go in. Well, <laughs> look at the body language there. There is one very disappointed golfer. Bit of a joke, isn't it, really? Yesterday's slow greens have really hurt me. I can't cope with these at all, and yet they aren't any faster than Lilybrook. I've got a slow group in front that I'm waiting on, and I've got a fast group behind who are short hitters, so they're hitting before I've actually reached my tee ball. You know, on the first, I heard thump thump behind me. I thought, what's going on? 
and of course they're only hitting it about 170 yards but they get to the ball and they play again and they play again so they're forever up your chuff the score can I break 90? <laughs> this is a joke isn't it? but then um, you turn around and you look at that and the score really doesn't matter anymore does it? The sixth, another par three. This one's back into the breeze. I've guessed with the hybrid here. And as soon as I've hit it, I know I'm in trouble. In fact, I can't see from here whether I've made it over the hedge or not. I was almost grateful to see this in the bunker. Well, at least I hadn't lost the ball. And that did not come out as I thought. That bunker looked quite firm. I was expecting to get uh, further up the green here. I was expecting a much hotter contact with the ball. Another putt for par. Well, at least this one stopped by the hole, so things are looking up. But it's another bogey. Seventh, a short par four. Wind's off my right. So I aim at the hedgerow, which marks the, the, you know, the divide between that and, I think, the 14th fairway. And it never moved an inch. I couldn't see from the tee where it finished up. When I walked up there, well, here it was. I've obviously hit this last tree. I suppose I should be grateful to have a shot of some sort, no matter how difficult it is. Had a long, long wait here, waiting for the, the eighth, because the eighth drives over the top of this green. And I don't know why, but I've picked the putter. And there's a very good reason why I don't putt from off the green. It's because I'm rubbish at it. This is about five feet. Couldn't be bothered to move the camera. I was in a bit of a foul mood at this point, I must admit. And there we go, another bogey. Right, eighth tee. Score is, um, I don't know, I've played seven holes. I've got to be at least eight or nine over par. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Uh, yesterday's greens obviously screwed me up. Um, I'm not a good wind player. Let's see if we can uh, make the best of this, though. The eighth, par five. Not quite straight down the wind, but from this high tee, we should be able to get some carry out of this. I hit a really good tee shot. I sound surprised. Well, I was surprised. Had a long walk forward here to pick up my line for the green. I got to hit this one out to the right. And that is exactly where I wanted it to be. Ninth hole, wind is hard off the right. I know I can't go left off this tee. And I am really, really proud of this cut that I had up, hit up into the wind to hold it straight. Really, really proud of that one. And uh, this shot tracer doesn't show the actual amount of turn on the wall. I hit this well right. And it comes in to the left side of the green. Got an opportunity here for the second par of the night. The second par. What a difference compared to yesterday.
And that's a bit of a oops. What have you done, Simon? You've blown it past. Don't you do this into the wind? When you when you got a long putt into the wind, you hit it too damn hard. Anyway, this for a final part. A little bit extra time lining this one up properly. Perhaps I should have started the round lining things up properly. One happy bunny! He's made a par! <laughs> it's funny what golf does to you sometimes, isn't it? Anyway, see you in part two. Cheerio!